Hey guys, welcome to the Lunchtime Review. Today I'm going to try one of these Richard's Cajun style favorites. This is the uh, single serve bowl. This chicken and sausage gumbo. It's rice, chicken thigh meat, pork sausage, and vegetables in a traditional Cajun style gumbo. Sounds good. Keep throat frozen. Yeah. And it's microwavable, of course. Uh, we bought these at Kroger for $2.50, so they're not, um, not too awfully expensive. One bowl is 330 calories, which is not bad at all. Um, there's all the other information for you. So, cooking directions, cooking directions. Here they um, You can, can do them in an oven, but we don't do ovens here. We do microwave. So, remove the bowl from the cart and cut a slit in the film to vent. Microwave for three minutes, peel back the cover and stir it, and then recover and reheat for two minutes. So, three minutes, stir, and two. And let's sit for a minute before you heat it. So, there it is. Can't really see anything. So I'm gonna uh, cut a slit in this and get the microwave out. Okay, right, here it is out of the microwave and it's a little soupy right now. Um, might stay soupy, I don't know, we'll see. So I'm gonna, but I'm gonna stir it up really good and there's pretty good amounts of sausage and chicken in here. You can see the steam, sorry. Um, you can see the amount of chicken in there. So anyway, I'm gonna let this cool off for just a bit and uh, let it set for a minute like they recommended and uh, I'll be back. Okay, it's had time to cool off, so I've got some uh, chicken, rice, and sausage right there. Um, can't get it much closer because it's a little drip, but here we go. Got a good flavor to it, got a good spice. Um, the rice is really well cooked. It's not, it's not mushy and sticky, and it's not um, hard, like crispy. Um, it's just right, it's cooked perfect. Um, the chicken, there are probably one, two, three, four, five, six, six or seven pieces of chicken in there, but I only see like two or three pieces of sausage. Hold on. I'll turn one more bite. Mm. Hot. One, two, three, plus the one I ate, it's four. Yeah, I see like five pieces of sausage, and they're all about the size of a hot dog. Um, let me see if I can, about that size, about as big around as a hot dog. So, um, could there be more? Maybe. Um, you really can't cut them up because I've got that skin on there. Um, you might be able to cut them against the side maybe, but I don't know, I didn't try them. Yeah, they're really hard to cut, so I probably won't try to cut them more. Flavor-wise, they're pretty good. It's not super spicy, so if you don't mind a little bit of like, it's not hot spicy at all, it's just spice, like mm -hmm. savory spice. Um, if you don't mind um, a little bit of spice in your food, then you would like this. I mean, it is um, Cajun style food. You would expect it to be hotter, but it's not. Um, it's pretty good, pretty good quality. Um, I wish there was a little bit more sausage and chicken in there. The chicken's okay. I wish there was a little more sausage in there. But uh, beyond that, pretty good. I don't. I think I said the price, but for two fifty at Kroger, two fifty for the amount of sausage in there is probably a good deal because they can't charge too much more. I mean, they couldn't put too much more in there for uh, for the price. So. You know, they, they got to make elimination somewhere, and the sausage is probably expensive. So anyway, overall, pretty good meal. I'm going to give it a three and a half to a four-ish, kind of in between. Um, it's not something I would eat all the time, but if you're interested or if you're in the mood for a um, chicken and sausage gumbo, it's definitely worth trying out if you can find them. We only found these at one Kroger in Lexington, so, um, so I haven't seen them anywhere else. They definitely haven't come to Winchester. So anyway, I uh, hope you enjoy this video, and thanks for watching.